It's been less than two weeks since the latest Starship launch, and SpaceX is once again making headlines with another groundbreaking achievement. SpaceX is now turning attention to its latest innovation, the Raptor 4 engine. While the Raptor 3 has already impressed with its advanced engineering and incredible power, SpaceX's vision goes further. The Raptor 4 promises to take space exploration to the next level with even more power and efficiency. So, how will this new engine transform the future of space travel? Let's break it down and see what makes Raptor 4 a true game changer. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. Starship has made significant progress in recent years, with new versions being developed to make it the largest and most capable rocket in history. The V2 version is expected to launch soon, and work on the even more advanced V3 version is already underway. These versions aren't the final designs. They are stepping stones for future upgrades that will make Starship larger, more efficient, and capable of handling a wider range of missions. The ultimate goal is to create a fully reusable spacecraft that can carry more than 100 tons of cargo or over 100 passengers per trip. At 120 meters tall and 9 meters wide, Starship is already far bigger than NASA's Space Shuttle, which stood at 56 meters and could carry a maximum of 27.5 tons to low Earth orbit. The eventual Starship is expected to deliver over 150 tons to orbit, making it a game-changer in space travel. Once operational, it will support missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond, as well as commercial satellite launches and even Earth-based point-to-point travel. One of the key reasons Starship is so powerful is its Raptor engines. Unlike many other aerospace companies that buy engines from external suppliers, SpaceX decided to develop its engines in-house from the start. This decision gave them full control over design, performance, and costs. Historically, some U.S. companies, like United Launch Alliance, relied on Russian-made RD-180 engines for their rockets. These engines were powerful but created supply chain dependencies. By building its engines in-house, SpaceX avoided this problem and was able to innovate much faster. SpaceX's first engine was the Merlin, which powered the Falcon 1 and later the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. However, when SpaceX began planning missions to Mars, they realized that the Merlin engine wouldn't be sufficient for interplanetary travel. They needed a new engine that was more powerful and efficient, which led to the development of the Raptor engine. The Raptor engine uses methane as its fuel, a significant change from the kerosene used in the Merlin engine. Methane is cleaner, produces less soot, and is easier to reuse in a rocket designed for multiple flights. More importantly, methane can be produced on Mars using the Sabatier process, which combines carbon dioxide from the Martian atmosphere with hydrogen. This makes it ideal for long-term Mars missions. The first version of the Raptor engine, Raptor 1, was a major achievement, but had room for improvement. It was complex and heavy, which made it harder to mass-produce. SpaceX addressed these issues with Raptor 2 by simplifying the design and reducing its weight from 2,000 kilograms to 1,600 kilograms. This version delivered 230 tons of thrust at sea level and 258 tons in a vacuum. It was used to power the early Starship prototypes and performed well in test launches. The Raptor 3, introduced in 2023, took things further. It delivered 280 tons of thrust at sea level and 306 tons in a vacuum, making Starship significantly more powerful. With this engine, Starship's total liftoff thrust exceeded 9,200 tons, more than twice that of NASA's Saturn V rocket, which had a liftoff thrust of 3,400 tons. Musk has suggested that Raptor 3 could eventually reach 300 tons of thrust, bringing the total liftoff power of Starship close to 10,000 tons. Even with the success of Raptor 3, SpaceX is already working on the next iteration, Raptor 4. This engine is expected to deliver even more thrust, potentially up to 330 tons. It will likely include further simplifications to improve reliability and reduce production time. For example, SpaceX is experimenting with welding techniques to replace traditional components like flanges and screws. 
This change could make the engine lighter and more reliable, though it would make repairs more challenging. Currently, SpaceX produces one Raptor 2 engine per day, and the improvements in Raptor 3 have increased production efficiency. With Raptor 4, SpaceX aims to further increase production rates, enabling the large-scale operation of Starship for frequent launches. Starship stands out not only for its size and power, but also for its reusability and cost efficiency. For comparison, NASA's space shuttle was partially reusable but required extensive refurbishment after each flight, which made it expensive to operate. Starship is designed to be fully reusable, significantly reducing costs per launch. Additionally, Starship's payload capacity far exceeds that of other rockets. While NASA's Space Launch System and Blue Origin's New Glenn are still in development, neither is expected to match Starship's capability. The SLS, for example, has a planned payload capacity of 95 tons to low Earth orbit in its initial configuration, which is far less than Starship's expected 150 tons. SpaceX has ambitious plans to launch up to 44 Starship missions annually from Florida. This version is likely to be powered by Raptor 4, as it aligns with SpaceX's goals of higher payload capacities and mission frequency. To achieve 44 annual launches, SpaceX would need to operate at a cadence of nearly one launch per week. Achieving this level of operational efficiency will depend on several factors, including improvements in engine production speed, refining Starship's reusability, and expanding ground infrastructure to support frequent launches. For context, SpaceX aims to launch 25 Starship missions in 2025, equivalent to approximately two launches per month. While this would be an impressive milestone, it is only halfway to the weekly launch cadence needed to meet their ambitious goals. By 2026, SpaceX could realistically double this frequency, achieving one Starship launch per week. To put these numbers into perspective, SpaceX's progress in increasing launch frequency has been remarkable over the past few years. In 2021, SpaceX completed 31 orbital launches, accounting for nearly 20% of the global total of approximately 145 launches that year. By 2022, SpaceX significantly increased its pace, completing 61 launches, which was 35% of the global total of roughly 178 launches. In 2023, SpaceX further cemented its dominance by completing 87 orbital launches out of a global total of around 210, representing more than 40% of all launches worldwide. Despite SpaceX's dominance in the space industry, Chinese companies are rapidly catching up by adopting similar technologies and strategies. For example, the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation is developing a reusable version of its Long March 8 rocket, which closely resembles SpaceX's Falcon 9. The reusable first stage is designed for vertical landings, similar to SpaceX's approach. In 2021, China successfully tested a reusable rocket prototype, showing progress in this area. Private Chinese companies are also working on reusable rockets iSpace, a startup, is developing the Hyperbola 2 rocket with a reusable first stage designed for powered landings. This rocket is modeled after the Falcon 9, and iSpace has already demonstrated its capability by successfully reaching orbit with the Hyperbola 1 rocket in 2019. China's efforts extend to methane-powered engines, an area where SpaceX has set the benchmark with its Raptor engines. For instance, Landspace has developed the TQ-12 methane engine for its Juke-2 rocket. Like the Raptor, this engine is designed for reusability and high performance. The Juke-2 is positioned to compete with reusable rockets for smaller payloads, reflecting the growing focus on efficiency and cost-effectiveness in the Chinese space sector. Additionally, China is working on a reusable space plane, which aims to support satellite deployment, space tourism, and potentially interplanetary missions. This project appears to draw inspiration from SpaceX's vision for Starship, focusing on versatility and reusability. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on SpaceX and Starship.